solely because of you guys. And my Instagram was blowing up yesterday. You guys were asking where I've been, what's going on, where's the update. Blah, 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 blah. So, hey, I'm here to tell you. And I'm here to get try and get back into the groove of things and start uploading more. I've really missed it. Uh, the reason I haven't been uploading is because, you know, I had some things going on in life. I mean, I was working, trying to get back into the group of things after getting my license back and all that. I do have my CDL back and everything, but uh, no one would really accept me for insurance. I tried everywhere. The only people that would really give me anything would be like Swift, and I don't, I don't want to do that. I can't. I don't like that. I can't be in an automatic truck. But, uh... So I traded my Tacoma, well I gave it to my little brother, and I got the Mustang that you guys seen on Instagram. I literally baked the f***ing coil packs, gapped them to 25, and we're running. What the f***? So, uh, right now, I'm headed to my buddy Chris's, and we're going to put coil packs on it, change the oil, because it got saturated in fuel. It's absolutely disgusting. And uh, look the car over, check the tune out, hopefully do a little street driving, see if we can get it away. I do a pull for you right now. But literally, as soon as you get like half throttle in like 3200 RPM range, it just starts bucking and kicking and fighting. 
I don't think it's getting enough uh, spark. I just I think they're not putting out enough. And it gets a little cold and it doesn't even want to start. It was hard starting this morning, but I think because I got the gap so small in the spark plugs, it allowed it to go. But uh, so anyway, next year will be the three years since my incident, and uh, most insurance companies will accept me. So until then, I'm just gonna play with my Mustang. Uh, I still got the Ranger. I have all the parts for it. I just haven't had the time to work on it, but I'm gonna make time now. So we're gonna have the Mustang. We're gonna get the Ranger going. I wanna take the Ranger to clean some cars and stuff like that and do burnouts and all that fun stuff. I still got my street bike. So we'll do some moto vlogs with it here soon when it warms up a little bit. Next week is actually supposed to be really nice. So I think we'll do it next week. I'm gonna really try hard to do a video a week I might do some videos of my work and stuff. I'm running heavy equipment now at this quarry. I started in a haul truck, worked my way into a loader, ran a hammer a little bit, stuff like that. I really want to get into an excavator. That, that's what I want. But uh, yeah, so I think we got some cool stuff coming now. I'll do a little bit of head driving here in a little bit, you know, show you guys what the problem is with the car right now. And then once I get with Chris and we start trying to mess with it, I'm thinking the coil packs are gonna fix it 100%. I mean, they're just, they're, they're junk. So, I'm really hoping that clears up the problem in the 3,000 RPM range. If not, we'll have Chris look at it, have him maybe change the tune a little bit, see if we can turn the fuel down or whatever needs to be done. Because I've kind of got to have this reliable. It's got Paxson supercharger on it. It's got full exhaust, BBK headers. It's got track and pan hard bars in the back. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's got some stuff done. It's six speed. It's got that weak transmission in it. I can't remember what my friend said the name was or the, the number for it. But yeah, so I'm gonna try and get back into YouTube. It's really gonna be weird at first. I don't remember how to do everything. It's been literally a year since I uploaded a video. So y'all gonna have to just hang in there with me. And by the way, to all the people that have been sticking by me, re-watching my videos, doing this, doing that, still buying my merch, Thank you so much. Like, you guys have no idea how, how much that means to me. Like, you guys have actually kept my life going. Like, the only reason I was able to pay for it is because you guys re-watching my videos and still buying my merch and stuff like that. Because for a long time, the only money I had coming in was the residual money from YouTube, from views and stuff like that. And I believe I've got about 40,000 new followers they have never even seen me upload a video and I feel so bad like so bad about it but you know when things happen in life and shit gets going a certain way you gotta do what you gotta do I mean uh, it, it happens you know I'm sure all y'all can uh, testify to that so yeah I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna get my money back for the coal packs because my buddy has some and we're gonna head out to the north port and get this thing tuned well check the tune get the coal packs on Try and get the problem all resolved. I'm not gonna be drag racing this at all. Not at all. I might do some, you know, highway pulls in Mexico with people or something like that for some fun. But I'm not trying to destroy this car. This is probably my famous last words to the video in a week or two weeks or a month of it blowing up in my garage. But we're gonna try to avoid that. You, know, you guys can hear it real quick at least. Sounds amazing. Full, full exhaust. Get me the married tuner to the car so that way we can plug in 
to get that tuner as soon as possible so that way I can get this thing tuned for 93. Because I ain't trying to run E85 all the time. It's not a lot of race going on. I'm not trying to drag strip it every day. I don't even want to drag strip it. I won't be able to drive it to work and around town and stuff. So I don't have anyone with me. I can't get no rolling shots or nothing. I'll try and figure out something fun to do. I'll give you all a walk around on the car here next. That's what I'll do. But all right. All right, guys. We got some E85 in it. I've been driving around for a while. So we're going to do a little bitty pull here. My speedometer's off because it has a different rear gear. I hope my camera's in the right spot. It's been so long since I did a driving thing. Like I said, we're under highway and stuff. I'm not going crazy. Just going to do a little pull. I'm so not used to doing YouTube, I keep forgetting to grab the camera when I'm doing stuff. So I just did my oil change and made sure that was all good because I was putting so much fuel into the oil, I keep looking at the wrong camera. Golly day, it's gonna be a lot getting used to this. So anyway, got it back on E85, running amazing. As you can see, I don't know what happened with the uh, video clip when that Corvette came up, I don't know, something happened with the camera and it uh, it, it, it uh, went off, yeah, or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is it. So, it's got the Boss 302 intake, it's got the Paxson supercharger, it's got full BBK exhaust, it's got long tube headers, the <clears throat> on-road X-pipe. There we go. And then uh, Borla mufflers on the back got the full fuel system it's got dual pumps in it it did have the street fire coil packs but i took those out because my buddy said those are horrible i got the big old intercooler down there and uh she's tuned as we just figured out on e85 duh but she's got the netto 5500s i think yeah i'm pretty sure where is it at I oh, know these are 62s and the backs are 55s. Oh, no, 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 no. They're both 62s. Okay. I read it wrong whenever I bought the car. I thought they were 5500s for some reason. But, uh, yeah, she's doing great. I absolutely love it. The wheels are only staggered a little bit. She could really use some fatter tires in the back. It's got the wing on there. I need to take this off and sand it and make that clear again. Oh, I was pointing the camera up over there. She's got this little thing there. It's got the coyote sticker. I absolutely love it. I really do. I gotta take these stupid things off, these caliper covers. I hate those. But she's got the brown interior. You know, the peanut butter flavor on the inside. She's a short throw shifter. That was really weird getting used to. And uh, yeah, so this is it. I'm rather excited. I mean, I, I'm not going to be taking it to the drag strip and stuff. But, you know, maybe down the road if I get me a beater to drive to work and stuff. Then we might be able to go to the drag strip and push her a little bit. Or if YouTube gets going again real good. Or I have money to actually fix things if they break. We'll be okay. But for right now, that's that. Oh, update you on the Ranger. Here she sits. Uh, 
disgusting. She was outside during Ian when it hit. So we're gonna be putting this back together. I just need to bolt this down, bolt that down, and then wire it, which ain't that big a deal. The bike's still here. She's doing good. Put quite a few miles on her. We got the garage set up a little bit. Everything's a mess right now, but made me this nice garage door. Oh yeah, I've been doing some stuff. So still got the boat over there. She's still there. So yeah, you know, we got some things to do. And I got some readjusting to do with the videos, so. All right, I'm gonna go put my oil in my oil container. I'm gonna close the hood up. I'm gonna go get me some dinner. Um, for all of you that have been here waiting for my videos, I just wanna say thanks again. You guys are awesome, straight MVPs. Uh, to all the new people that have never seen me post a video, I used to do trucking. Now I'm just kind of vlogging, just so you guys have something to watch and kind of catch up with what I'm doing. So. Hope you guys enjoy the new content. I'm gonna try and do review stuff. I'm gonna do some gaming, streaming. I've been saying it, I haven't done it, and I haven't done it. I'm gonna do it. I got an extra room now, so I'm gonna get me a computer, like a nice desktop, and you know, put the lights in the background, look like one of those fancy strip guys. Strip, stream, or not stream, Twitch, 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 son of a gun. But yeah, so welcome back. Don't hold me to it, I'm gonna try. There's a clear coat drip. Mm. Uh, don't hold me to it. I'm going to try and post more videos. Got to try and get back in the groove of things. And yeah. So hopefully you get this video up tomorrow. Because I told you I was going to make it today. And you'll be happy. So if you like where it's going. Like and subscribe. For you that are subscribed. Thank you very much. And we'll see you on the next one. Come on.